All right, guys, today we are going to be doing a little bit of a comparison, a kind of mini comparison between a lot of the more popular Mora knives and kind of going over which one is right for different applications and also kind of going over their sizes, their specifications, and just looking at them side by side. Because I think it's very interesting, especially because a lot of these knives are on places like Blade HQ, Knife Center, Amazon, and many other places. And it's easy to look at a listing and say, look at a Conspool and look at it next to a Mora 511. And you say, you know, like in a picture, they kind of don't look that dissimilar in size, but when you hold them next to each other, you can see that there is quite a bit of a difference. So I thought it'd be an interesting video to go over um, the different kind of uh, just overall really popular Mora knives, kind of break them down, show them next to each other. So this can help you more accurately judge what you want to go for in a potential knife. In addition to this too, we will also do a size comparison with the Cold Steel SRK and the Cold Steel SRK in this case is a CPM 3V version, but this is still a standardized size of knife. So if you are familiar with the Cold Steel SRK, we'll be comparing each one of these to the SRK and all of them as a newsflash are, will be smaller than this, but it kind of gives you guys a standard measure. All right, so let's go from smallest to largest. First up is going to be the little but mighty Mora Eldris. This is probably one of my favorite Moras out there. It is such a capable little Mora, and honestly, for being a dedicated neck knife, this is probably one of my favorites. Now, putting this up against the Gold Steel SRK, you can see that there's a gigantic leap and a difference in size, so there's not even really a fair comparison there. But of course, this is designed from the ground up to be a um, neck knife. It is designed to be from the ground up a very small knife you guys can see there on my palm it really goes about half halfway a little maybe a little more than halfway but right around there so one thing i do love about the mora eldris as i've said in the past is that you can still get a pretty darn good grip on it and it's still a four finger friendly neck knife whereas a lot of things like the sc azula um, the tops msk and stuff they really are on the verge of being a four finger but realistically three finger knife Knife. So I like how the Mora Eldris, you still have a very small compact blade, but you still get a lot of grip surface. And I think the other thing that I like a lot about the Eldris is just how thick the handle how like thick the handle is, it gives you a really good swell, and it really feels quite hand filling. So really cool knife. The Mora Eldris is forever one of my favorites in the pack. All right, stepping it up is going to be the Mora 511 Craft Line. Now, the 511 Craft Line is probably one of the more attractive Moras, primarily because of its price. These things regularly come in sub ten dollars, but even um, sometimes they come in a little bit more than that, but still right around ten to eleven dollars. And so they are incredibly affordable, incredibly attainable. And so you guys can see here, this is what the Craft Line looks like versus a more a clipper and so you can see that it is a little bit smaller it is notably smaller um, than a clipper so it is take that for what it's worth of course in comparison to a cold steel srk it is a dwarfed it is a baby knife in comparison to the cold steel srk you can see there um so this definitely take it for what it's worth this is a smaller knife and most importantly the thing that i think I dislike the most about the craft line is how narrow the blade is. So if you look at it in comparison to a clipper, which already doesn't have that wide of a blade, you can see that it is even more narrow than the clipper. Now, luckily for the um, Mora 511, this guy right here, um, the nice thing is that it has a very thin blade. So the stock of the blade is pretty thin and the grind is the same. So the cutting performance outside of the length of the blade really doesn't change much between a clipper or a craft line. You know, you can have a wider or more narrow blade, but because of the way that this grind is, it's kind of set and locked into its performance. So it's not really going to perform any more or less bad cutting wise than a say, clipper or a companion we'll get to in just a moment. So that is the Mora 511 craft line of course this is a carbon steel blade and it is made of c100 um, carbon so that is basically 1095 really not a bad blade and we will do more videos on the 511 but just intro that is the 511 <laughs> 
All right, next one up is going to be the Clipper. Now the Clipper in comparison to its newer brother, the um, Companion is ever so slightly shorter than in the Companion. It comes in or the Companion comes in at 4.1 inches and the Clipper comes in at 3.9 inches. Now this is where we actually start to see a real stepping up of the knives. So you can see here, hopefully, Kind of back it up um, this is the companion or sorry clipper versus the srk so you are getting a decently sized knife once again it is the same thickness and has the same grind as the 511 uh, craft line so you are going to have a similar performance in cutting and in most general crafting tasks as the craft line the only thing i will say and this is where a lot of people either like the craft line or like the clipper companion is the notable finger choil you either don't have it on the clipper and companion or you do have it on your craft line series of knives for me i would say you know for younger audiences having a predominant finger choil to prevent you know any slip ups is nice however i personally really don't think that it's necessary and i don't mind having the more kind of gentle kind of uh, just reminder of where the end of the handle is. For me too, another thing that's worth noting, um, one thing that I should have noted is that um, on the handle, speaking about the handles of these knives, the Eldris has a rubber on your out outer borders so anything on the border here is going to be rubberized. The center here is hard plastic. The one thing that keeps the uh, more craft line the 511 cheaper is that there is absolutely no rubber on this so it is fully encased in a plastic handle but there is no rubberizing here so all of this is hard plastic and so keep that in mind now going over to the more clipper this is this all this black area here including the texturing the kind of diamond texturing there is going to be rubberized so you are going to have tons of grip on this knife and in my opinion the grip is probably the best on the clipper because of its high amount or high usage of rubber all right now moving over to the companion so the companion in comparison to we'll just say the cons pool which is the next step up it's a little bit smaller but once again most notably a little bit more narrow in blade stock so it's going to be a little bit longer than your clipper but it's going to be the same you know like width and the same thickness as a clipper so let's put these guys up against each other um, this is it versus a um, cold steel srk so you guys can see there hopefully um, there is a pretty noticeable difference there once again the srk does have a few inches on it and of course the srk is a bigger knife it's going to be bigger than anything here that we're going to discuss at least so far so once again um it's also worth noting that the clipper and companion um, come in stainless varieties but all all of these blades here that you see outside of the con spool and the eldris because they don't come in carbon steel varieties um, all of mine are carbon steel varieties because i like the carbon steel performance a little bit better than their more cheap or budget oriented stainless steels so this is of course like i said the companion it's basically the baseline to mora's like lineup and it is a really solid blade it's a solid performer and it can definitely take on a lot of things its primary advantage over the clipper outside of its ever so slightly longer blade length is that it does have a more complete and more full tang now once again i said more full tang this is not a full tang knife none of these knives i'm talking about here are full tangs but this one is more full tang all right, last one up is the Mora Kanzbul. Now, the Kanzbul is probably the biggest um, within reason of all of their like more popular lineup. And of course, once again, this one is 12C27 um, Sandvik steel and of course stainless. And it is the same thickness as all of the other previously mentioned Moras. This is it versus the Cold Steel SRK. So you can see there it's getting closer you know it's stepping up it's getting closer and closer to hitting that size it though is still um, a little bit smaller and uh, definitely a lot uh, more narrow now as far as the rubberization goes everywhere that is dark orange is going to be your rubberized textured kind of um, grippiness and then of course your center much like the eldris is going to be a hard plastic so it is going to be less grippy and more slick not a huge fan of it i personally like the full um, rubberized 
handles of the companion and the clipper, but this is still completely functional. In addition to, you basically have no finger groove, but I really think that that actually works on this knife. And the primary reason why I like this is because when you are carving, say you're cutting like this, but then say you want to do like a chest lever, so you're wanting to cut like this, well, I really like having a homogenous handle where, you know, on this, you can see that there's basically no guard on the back and there's a full guard on the front. What this means is when you go to put this into a chest lever, what ends up happening is as your knife cuts into something, what will happen is you can see here how um, your blade, um, you know, bucks down or, you know, buck digs into something and that um, finger guard naturally digs right into the kind of uh, web of your um, thumb. So it's not a very comfortable experience. And like I said, because it's so pronounced, it really bites in and it is very noticeable. It's a little bit less so when you're doing it with a you know clipper or companion, still is there and present, but that is why they got rid of the finger groove or any kind of finger swell or whatever um, on or finger guard or anything like that on the Konzbul, on the Garberg, and on the Eldris. It's so that you can hold this in a reverse grip and still have good traction and nothing's going to be digging into the meat of your palm or the meat of your thumb area. So anyways, other things that are notable on this guy, it does have a narrowed portion, as you guys can see here, a compound grind to narrow the tip or the front half of the blade. This just gives you better slicing performance into the belly of the knife so that there's less resistance when cutting. So overall, pretty good. It's also worth noting that the Eldris, the Konspool, the Garberg, and um, the Mora Bushcraft Black, which is actually not here, um, all have sharpened spines for striking ferro rods or for you know, debarking trees and just doing general purpose, just scraper tasks. All of that is very easy to do on these sharpened spines. You can take the spines, these raw unground spines, and take a Dremel to them and achieve the same effect, but it is just worth noting that from factory, they do not come like that. So anyways, guys, that has been a brief look at some of the top picks for Mora's more budget lineup and uh, just overall look at the more budget Mora's. Hopefully this helps you guys decide, you know, like what you want, because I think once again, it's very easy to look on, you know, the interwebs and see stuff like say this Mora 511 and say, you know, oh, well, it's cheaper than a companion. So, you know, I want to get the 511. And so just be mindful that, you know, if you do that, the blade length on the more companion is going to be longer the blade length on the clipper is going to be longer so you do get more bang for your buck than just going with the 511 however i will say realistically speaking so long as we're not talking about overall like blade length the actual cutting performance on the craft line should be at least at minimum fairly similar to the um, clipper and the companion because of the grind in the way that it is. So anyways, that is worth noting. Um, as far as it goes, guys, that's really all I have to say. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.